Perhaps an odd object for decorating a house, but I know exactly where it should go. You watched us design and build this house in 150 days, but the work is far from over. We're about to jump into my favorite part of the process of bringing all this together. Join me for an exclusive look right here on eHow Home. I have to say, when I visit someone's house, I'm always interested in the objects that they have surrounding them. And I like houses, and usually the people that own the houses, that have interesting things, curious things, almost whimsical things, beyond just paintings hanging on the wall. Like, take a look at this horse up here. A model taken from a harness maker shop. Interesting. And then, take a look at these objects, this and this. These are pieces from farm implements, but I think they have a really unique design. The silhouette against a white wall looks really good. And then remember how we took all those old farm tools and clustered them together and created a focal point for over the mantle? Of course, another thing to hang on the wall, which isn't so surprising but can be really good looking, are just platters. Maybe they're all in neutral colors. They blend nicely with the decor. Then there are things like baskets picnic hampers, fishing creels, or even this big old tobacco basket that goes back to the 19th century. It has a great modern look. And I love things like this, this vintage or even antique hay fork made of wood, fits perfectly in this hallway. It doesn't interfere with the way you can come up and down the hall, it's flat against the wall, and it really is a symbol of our farmhouse chic approach that we've taken to this little cottage. Hey, if you're enjoying these updates on how we're bringing the interior design together, check in with us regularly. Tell a friend and subscribe to eHow Home.